What it do, everybody? It's your boy, King Crowder, back again with another edition of History You May Not Know and Things That Are Not Taught in Detail for Show. Today's lesson is about one of our icons throughout history that has not been given the proper trust to. Have you heard of Miss Ball, the great Alice Augusta Ball? Born July 24th, 1892, she was an American chemist who developed the ball method, the most effective treatment for leprosy during the 20th century. She was the first woman and the first black American woman to receive a master's degree from the University of Hawaii. She was the first female and black and women chemistry professor who died at the early age of 24, but her great contribution to the science field have never been given highlight or just to. What we're going to do is highlight this young lady and the phenomenal things she did in her short 24 years of living. Let's go. Alice Ball was born again July 24th, 1892 in Seattle, Washington to James, to their mother, the Ball family, James or Laura Ball. She was the third of four children. She had two other brothers, William and Robert, and a younger sister, Annie. Her family was a middle-class, well-off black family because her father was a newspaper editor. It was a big-time newspaper editor for the color citizen, the photography, and the lawyer. Her mother was also a photographer, and her father and her grandfather, James Saul Sr., was also a photographer. So she came from a family of well-off black Americans who were the first to make contributions on the West Coast. The process of printing furrows onto metals was an iconic, trendy thing of this time. Some research has suggested that her father, family, and photographer roles helped her love chemistry because she had to work with metals, photos, details, and other information that her parents loved and listed on her. One of the things that she did in her community is that the ball parents all were born to make sure that they emulated and assisted in society. Alice Ball and her family moved from Seattle to Honolulu in 1902 where she could attend Central Grammar School. Her family moved to Hawaii in hopes for the warmer weather and ease to her parents' arthritis. Throughout, throughout her family's short-lived life, she moved to Hawaii in Seattle, where she became a rock star. What she was so good at, she was um, a phenomenal in the drama club. She had a very ambitious personality, and she graduated from school in 1910, where she received top grades in her class. Ball went to study um, chemistry at the University of Washington, earned her bachelor's degree in pharmaceutical chemistry. She was a smart young lady. She graduated in 1912, receiving her second bachelor's degree in pharmacy in two years in 1914. Alongside her pharmacy instructor, William Dean, the so-called co-published her 10 page article about other diseases in the Journal of Magical Chemistry at this time. After graduating, Ball was offered many scholarships. She received an offer from the University of Cal Berkeley. She also received a scholarship and an offer from the University of Hawaii. She decided to go to the University of Hawaii to study her thesis titled The Chemistry Constructed on the Monica Pipeline Inside of American History. Her study was researching how we can decode treatment from the anxiety, headache, and kidney disorders. This young chemistrists understood how food, health, and stress can hurt the body. She became the first black American woman to earn a bachelor's degree from Hawaii, research, and instruct her classroom. She conducted many experiments in Hawaii that was chemical mapped up and after the premises of her thesis statement. A lot of these words are super technical, y'all, but I'm going to try my best to highlight what she did. But she did a study of over 8,000 patients that were diagnosed with leprosy. What she did in layman's turn was she learned how to separate them from what their habits were. Remember, she understood the, the links between racism, colonization, and leprosy that affected people in Hawaii. What she did was change their diet, add some oils to their re routine, along with exercise, and she learned how to cure these people in such a way. At the age of 23, she developed an oil injection and a water subdue that would help lowered down the fatty acid oils that affected the leprosy patients at this time. Ball was unable to publish a revolutionary finding, honestly, due to racism. So she had groundbreaking research. She was credible. 
She had to research in the paperwork to find it, but they did not want a woman to get the patent and the love that she needed. Ball's colleagues even pushed against her. She was extremely profitable, extremely wise, and extremely ahead of her time. They tried the best to close her voice. She had to be reminded that the scientific community was not for her. Ball died at a young age of 24 on December 31st, 1916. She became ill during her research in Seattle treatment a few months before her death. The death said that she was poisoned due to the exposure of what she was doing in her very own laboratory. So she died from helping because she knew her practices would be worked and groundbreaking. Her work was never given to her, but used as the ball method and never her name or praise given until this day. Dr. Ball, the icon, the trailblazer, the iconic speaker of her day. She made methods, she treated patients, she made sure to cure them without new and innovative ways. Alice Ball Day did not get appreciated until 2007. I want you to think about this for a second. She died in 1916 and the appreciation, the love and admiration she got was not signed into law until February 28, 2022 by the Hawaii government. I think that's a tragedy knowing how much she did for the community and how much of a trailblazer she was at this time. And even though we, she didn't get in her lifetime, I want to make sure that students understand who this young lady was, why she was such a phenomenal person of her day, and what she did to help people throughout this country. Alice Augusta Ball, we appreciate you. We love you for what you did. We hope your story becomes a timeless story and a film comes across what you did for the communities and healthy clients until this day. It's your boy, King Crowder. Hopefully I expressed that information as best I could, y'all. Dr. Ball's information and vocabulary is way much ahead of myself, but I tried my best to stick with it and break down this information as best I could. Alice, Augusta Ball, the icon, chemist, the Ball Method, the most treatment, successful and effective treatment for leprosy during this 20th century. She deserves our flowers, and we love you, miss. Until next time, until your boy, checking out. Peace.